Hello everyone, welcome to this lecture video. In this video, we are going to see how to write a cover letter for a job publication. So, what's a cover letter? A cover letter is nothing but a one page document that you submit as a part of your job application or CV. Why do we write this? We write this to give a small brief about our prof professional background and how fit is this current job to our uh, personality and to our experience and this cover letter runs up to 250 to 400 words and uh, you should not have everything that you included in your resume here then it will become another resume it's not a cover letter in a cover letter we are just going to brief about our important skills and the experience that fits um, to work in the current company and a good cover letter can speak uh, spark the HR manager and help the HR manager to get into your resume but if your cover letter is not impressive then nobody is gonna have a look into your resume so when we draft a cover letter we must be very careful so that our cover letter uh, makes the person to read our resume okay so how to read write a cover letter so i have given a, here an example look at the letter which is written it reads like this on the top we have our name and then to whom we are writing in the head letter head to whom we are writing and then it is in the left in the right you have your email id fax number and if you have linkedin linkedin id and then if you want to include your phone number or uh, facebook id you can include that okay so look at the example given here dear miss johnson as a highly skilled project manager with 11 years of experience i'm writing to express my interest in the project manager position at your company my experience aligns well as well as I have worked in project management for several years with a prominent retailer and I know I would make a valuable addition to your team. Okay, in the first paragraph we say what is the skill that we have and how fit our current uh, position is to work in the position which is available in the company and how can we help the company to add more value to them and to give our best so after working for over a decade in project management i have advanced knowledge in okay in the second paragraph we discuss about the core skill sets that is required that is looked after by the company and you have list down your experience major experience and finally it's completely different from a resume because here we are trying to explain how our past experience and skill sets are perfectly fit for the current opening job that is the main aim we are not going to give our bio data or or um, educational details anything here okay and yours uh, sincerely a closing note so that is how a cover letter should be. It should be a one page cover letter. How to write a perfect cover letter and we are going to see the structure of the cover letter. Keep in mind that a cover letter is a supplement to your resume. It's not a replacement. So you should not be very detailed. It should be very brief. If you are writing a cover letter for the first time, writing all this might seem pretty tough but before you write your cover letter you should have a research and there are idea about how to write a professional letter so that you can win the hr interest next one the structure of the cover letter the first one is header you should have a header the input contact information and your um, media ids can be added there and then the greeting of the hiring manager and then you have an opening paragraph that is called introductory paragraph in order to get the readers attention in two or three 
by adding two or three top achievements of yours and then in the second paragraph you explain how fit you are for the per uh, for the current job and then in the third paragraph you are explaining why you are a good match for the company and then you have a formal closing so look at the structure again uh, here in the formal letter you have your name and your position current position designation here you have given your all media ids facebook linkedin and twitter whatever you want to add uh, where you are highly known for your professional skill sets so you, it's very unnecessary to include everything um, until you have something you have achieved through it or you are notable in it for your current position okay and then you are giving the input address about the receiver and then in the first paragraph look at the first first paragraph we have a salutation dear mr uh erling care okay and then you have the introductory paragraph that is called opening paragraph make it very professional and um, try to attract the reader's attention in the first two lines so that they can read your resume further and the next one comes the body of the letter in the body of the letter we would describe how challenging the position is and how your skills are fit for the position and the final one is closing line you give a call for an action in the closing line and then comes the salutation first one pick up the right cover letter for your template for your cover letter there are you can write your cover letter in a word document or there are so many advanced templates that will help you to do give a better cover letter so you can opt for that a good letter a good cover letter is always about leaving the right impression right first impression so you have to choose a right template for your cover letter look at the template here so it is a default one here you have your name and space for your media ids and then space for the input address and date and the body of the letter so you so it's a perfect template there are so many templates which in um which creates interest in you you can go for it and it should be very formal as well the next one is start the cover letter with a header as i told you in the header you should have your full name your phone number email date and the name of the hiring manager and the name of the complete address of the hiring manager look at the example here you have your name and your designation and then here you have media ids and then this is the name of the hiring manager okay and here we have the date so this is how these are the information that you should include in your cover letter in the header of the cover letter and then in certain cases you must also consider that you can include your social medias like youtube it or professional website id if you are a blogger as i told you if you are very known for your profession and skill set using that media then you can always include that and then um what what are the things that you should not mention in your cover letter i mean header your address your complete address you're not going to give your address in the cover letter and the city of residence and then um, should not give your personal okay unprofessional mail ids unprofessional twitter account or anything which is very professional you can leave it in the cover letter and then greeting the manager when you greet the manager you can always go for dear sir or madam but having this dear sir or madam says that you don't know whom you are writing the cover letter to to be very specific there are so many people who would be applying for a particular job in a company so they all will be writing dear sir or madam it indicates that they don't have any idea about who is gonna who's gonna hire them but 
Thank you for watching the lecture video. Let's see the continuation of cover letter in the next one.